and I was mad. I'm talking about anger before. I was mad at you for tr for 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 coming up with two different types of evolution just so you could accept the one that you can see and deny the one that is in contradiction to the Bible, even though they are one and the same thing. You've got to keep them separate because you've already decided the Bible is true. I don't care what new information I get. The Bible is literally true. Now, see, this whole creation thing, I used to, I came from a Jewish family. I was, uh, you know, bris, uh, bar mitzvah, the whole nine yards. As soon as, um, one of the things that the Jewish community has going forward is stress on education. Education is the way to alleviate poverty. You study, you get a good job, learn what you can about the world. Intelligence is praised. Question everything. Th these are the good values of the Jewish community. So when science says, you know, we've got this thing, evolution, there's fossil records, we can actually see bacteria mutating and evolving in the laboratory. If we apply that on a scale of a several million years, look at the varieties and stuff that we get. And do the Jews say, oh, that's against the Bible, that can't be right? No. The Jews are smarter than that. They say, oh, yes, absolutely. I can see the evidence right in front of me. It's undeniable. As undeniable as the sky is blue and a rock is hard. I can't deny it. There it is right in front of me. I can see it. So, uh, clearly, uh, the story of Genesis must not be literal. It's, it has to be metaphorical. Or maybe it's not even a, uh, a story about creation at all. Maybe it's just a story about morals. Maybe it's teaching something deeper. Maybe we shouldn't take it so literally. Problem solved. No conflict. Genesis is still in the Torah. And uh, evolution, fact. Uh, so why are the Christians having such a hard time? Because, this. Uh, let's talk about anger. Because I was angry at you, unjustifiably angry at you. I'm angry at whoever lied to you. Somebody you trusted. Somebody in a teacher role. Maybe you read a book. Maybe you listened to a seminar. Something. Somebody who was in a trusted position to give you unbiased information that was accurate and true lied to you. Whether they did that deliberately or whether they were just spreading the lie angers me greatly. It's, you can't lie to somebody. It, it's just wrong. And it makes me mad. Why would somebody do that? Why would somebody lie like that? And... Uh, the only motivation I can come up with is that it's uh, part of a greater agenda. Keeping people in the dark, keeping their thumb on the masses, it's the only thing I can think of. So really, um, you have to decide who are you going to believe, who has the most to gain from lying to you, because clearly somebody is. You can't have it both ways. Either the scientists, as you like to group them all together, the scientists are lying, or uh, whoever told you about the differences between micro and macro evolution is lying to you. All right, so who's, uh, who's in the greatest benefit to gain by lying to you? Uh, you give money to your church? Yeah. Do, uh, do evangelicals have a large stake in the uh, political process in the government right now? Yep, sure do. That's uh, a pretty, uh, pretty strong motivation to, uh, to keep you under control. Okay, so what do the scientists have to gain? Uh, clearly, scientists are trying to destroy religion. Uh, for its own end, I, I don't even know. Uh, Satan, yeah, that's it. It's got to be Lucifer, Beelzebub, is trying to destroy Christianity. That's That's got to be it. I can't think of any other reasonable explanation, clearly. That's, that has to be it. <clears throat> I was uh, very angry all day. This was bugging me and bugging me and bugging me. And uh, I, it's not your fault. 
It's not your fault. Somebody lied to you. And uh, that's unexcusable as far as I'm concerned. To perpetuate a lie like that. I, uh, I'm so angry right now, I can't even, can't even fathom it. It's not your fault. You believed somebody who was in a position to be trusted, and they lied to you. Straight to your face. That bugs the hell out of me. I'm not even going to go into the age of the earth stuff or ideological carbon dating because you're, you're clearly not even listening to it. Uh, fossils, oh, they're well-preserved. Well, rocks tend to be well-preserved. That's what a fossil is. It's a rock. Uh, human fossils, yeah, I went into that. That's it. I'm just, I'm just irritated at the whole thing. To deny something that's so obvious, that's so plain as day, it's, it's, I, I can't quite wrap my head around it. Um, yeah, somebody's clearly lying to you. Figure it out. Figure out who's got the most to gain, uh, what people's motivations are. If you're totally convinced that uh, Satan's trying to rip Christianity away from you, you know, fine. Uh, I, I can't argue against that. It's totally irrational. You can't use a rational argument against totally something totally asinine. So whatever. I, I know this video isn't going to change your mind on anything, but hopefully somebody else is watching that will take note. Just um, try to be more skeptical in the future. Find stuff out for, your, for yourself. Don't take people's words for it.